a micro dot. Mm -hmm. Do you know what a micro dot is? Yeah. And what is it? So this is a very small dot. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Crypto Wit. I mean, no. Okay, I mean, I am continuing to be fascinated by this world of NFTs. Yeah. And I was looking around online, I found an article from, uh, oh, well, Crypto News, CryptoNews.com. Mm -hmm. It's in relation to the artist uh, Damien Hirst. Are you familiar with Damien Hirst? No. No, he's brilliant. So Damien Hirst uh, has an NFT art project. The article says that Damien Hirst's latest project, The Currency, is an artwork in two forms. Its physical form is 10,000 unique hand-painted A4 sheets covered in colorful dots. Mm -hmm. In the same way as paper money, each sheet includes a holographic image of Hearst, mm -hmm. a signature, a micro dot. Mm -hmm. Do you know what a micro dot is? Yeah. And a place for a serial number. Yeah. The second part of the artwork is that each of these hand painted sheets has a corresponding NFT. Yeah. The way that the currency, which is the name of the artwork, works is that collectors will not be buying the physical artwork immediately. Instead, they will pay 2,000 US dollars for the NFT and then have a year to decide whether they want the digital or the physical version. Mm. One collector selects one, mm. the, other will, the other will be destroyed. Yeah. So what is going on here and what does it tell us about art and money? But this is an artistic experiment. Now what people are going to do and things that you will see in the future is that you have, you're have you going to have more and more NFTs attached to physical things. And NFTs being an expression of ownership or a legal ownership uh, certificate of, 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 of the of the NFT or uh, sorry of the underlying item <coughs> so each NFT would have a certificate is, is basically a certificate that refers to an underlying item okay it's a form of ownership basically once you buy that NFT you have bought the physical item so you can claim the physical item attached to it in his case he's saying no if you buy the NFT I will destroy the physical item so which one you want to choose but the common application is that the NFT is uh, an ownership title, like the paperwork that you will get, okay, of buying something, a like sales contract or whatever, that allows you to claim ownership over a physical thing. So the article goes on to ask the question, what is art and what matters most, mm. physical or digital art? And Hearst is not the first to ask this question in the context of N NFTs. Yes, a so artists, artists are going to keep on experimenting this this dilemma between uh, etc. But but artists are in the are in the business of um, of provoking uh, 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 thought around uh, dilemmas. Okay, this is one of the main uh, uh, substance of uh, of the substance substantial quests of, of an artist, where the NFT environment can apply to a wider range of, 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 of topics by being able to replace a certificate of ownership of a physical thing. For many, the puzzle is why someone would feel that owning a digital version rather than an actual artwork constitutes ownership at all. Uh, yeah, but this is, uh, once again, artists are in the business of querying about these kind of things. But people today, uh, for a generation under 20 years old, most of their valuables, uh, valuables have a digital form. I mean, they own things digitally. They own more things digitally than physically. It closes by saying a particularly clear-cut example of this would be someone who, after the year has passed, decided to claim the NFT of Hearst's work and reject the physical version. What better move to signal commitment to a blockchain future? When the year is up and we see how many people chose to keep the NFT, it might even give an interesting indication of to what extent this new digital generation is becoming the dominant one. Absolutely. And uh, I think this is a very interesting experiment. And uh, it's, it will be interesting. It, it is interesting, isn't it? Yeah. But it's Damien be, Hurst, well done. W but it will be interesting to see the, the 
it would be interesting to redo it in, in two, three years and to see the evolution in terms of percentage. How many people keep the NFTs versus the actual physical? Oh, and that article is by Paul Dylan Ennis of uh, Crypto News. Absolutely, Mr. Dennis. Well done. Yeah, interesting. Damien Hurst, very good. Mm -hmm. Actually, Paul Dylan Ennis, uh, Dylan Ennis, lecturer, assistant professor, management information systems, UCD Dublin. Oh, in it, my uh, sorry, that's not uh, that's Dublin not Irish. Accent. No, no, not at all. Mm. Uh, but uh, UCD, my father went to UCD. Oh, really? Did you? No, I didn't. My brother goes to UCD. Really? Yeah, I must get him to drop in on. Uh, on Mr. Ennis. I need to visit the island, man. Never you do. Been. You do. Say goodbye. Goodbye. Thanks for tuning in. Thank like, you. comment, subscribe. Yes, sir.